Man, I really have not been looking forward to work on you. All right, guys, today we are finally going to start disassembling the Pro Charger here, just getting the, uh, the whole head unit out of here, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. I do have to, I think, look up how to loosen this tensioner again so I can get the belt off of here. But otherwise, it should be a relatively simple job. Um, knock on wood, I don't, there we go. But I guess let's just get right to it. Oh yeah, look at that. That came off way easier than I thought it would actually. Let's go ahead and throw this guy over here. That looks like there's been a lot of oil hitting that. Interesting. Oh my God, boys. Look at that. Holy sh That's not good. Hold on, let me, let me switch cameras to see if you guys can see that. All right, so it has not taken me long at all to figure out what the failure was. Here we go. If we take a look at the compressor wheel, oh, look at that. Ooh, oh no, that is not good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh yeah, look at this too. I can completely freely spin this thing and the compressor's not turning. Oh my God, is that seized up? Yeah, it's seized up boys. That would normally spin. Oh my God. <laughs> yep, yep, so that, this definitely is done skis. Um, hopefully someone can fix that and I didn't just completely ruin this thing. Oh my gosh, that's insane. All right, so a little bit of an update. I dropped the bolt somewhere and I cannot find it. I'm not sure where it went. Let's see if any oil leaked out. Oh, holy sh Oh my God, do you guys see that? Please tell me you see that. Yo! The f nut at the end of this broke off. Cause it hangs so low. Holy f It's an oil failure. All the oil leaked out of it on the f highway. I must've hit something real low. Holy f that's why I failed, right there, 100%. Oh. All because this guy got knocked off. Oh my god. It wasn't, it wasn't even the charger's age. This got broken off. Alright, so I wasn't sure if you guys could see that with the GoPro or not. But it's just under the car, look at this. I did not take the cap off of this. It is completely broken off holy sh so my charger failed it was an oil failure this hit something extremely low and broke off all the oil left the pro charger and then it seized up oh. that blows what's so funny <laughs> is it my hands is it the camera on my head yeah Both. this isn't funny it really sucks. It's all locked up. So, and, and I'm also chasing a bolt right now. I lost, I lost the bolt in the engine bay. I can't find it, so. Of course you can. Yeah, so. What's wrong? What? What's wrong? The 101 broke my car. <laughs> Why? Guess I'm too low. <laughs> Oil left my supercharger, supercharger seized up. What's up guys, it's a couple days later from the video when I was originally filming it. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video too. It helps us smaller creators out a lot because what it does is it recommends our videos, well rather YouTube recommends our videos to other people so that way we get a wider audience and you know, um, I have a bigger reach. To update you guys a little bit farther, um, I did eventually find the bolt I dropped in the engine bay. It actually took me <laughs> Um, embarrassingly so, probably like an hour and a half or two hours to find the bolt. Uh, it was caught in the K-member 
inside of it somewhere. I don't know. I, I only found I couldn't find it with my eyes, so I only found it with my with my hands after cutting them up a little bit looking for it. But we got the bolt. That's a good thing. On a second note, I can't for the life of me figure out how to release the tension on the pro charger. Um, now I thought I understood it, um, but apparently I don't. Um, there's a lot of videos that don't show how to actually release the tension on the pro charger. So um, I still have not figured out how to do it. I got aggravated with it and I just left it before I went and broke something because normally that's what you want to do in those types of situations. Next step is to take the pro charger off the car and get it shipped off to a performance shop to get it rebuilt, put new seals in, um, new uh, impeller wheel. I believe that's what it's called. It's called an impeller wheel or compressor wheel. I forgot what I called it in the video. Um, apologize if I got that wrong. I'm not too familiar with centrifugal superchargers. It needs to get sent off to the shop, get rebuilt so we can get it back on the car, get it back up and running here. I'll eventually get together here with a buddy um, who should understand pro chargers more and who would know how to release the tension on the tensioner for the pro charger and that belt. Once again, I swore I understood how it worked. Um, so I think that may also be seized up a little bit or there might be some other issue with the tensioner as well. Um, because no matter what I did, it was not releasing any tension at all, um, which kind of worries me a little bit more. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, you can give it like a little snip snip, you know, <laughs> to get the belt off of there and really just get it off the car. We want to avoid that. You know, the belt's 50 bucks. I'd rather not spend another 50 bucks on it as well, too. So that's the update on the Pro Charger. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. I seem to have some of the worst luck of really any automotive YouTuber, um, you know, besides a set few. Hopefully my luck in the future changes. <laughs> Just the odds of, you know, that line getting loose enough to hit something hard enough on the highway to knock the drain plug off of that. It, I, I don't see how that happened. You know, there was evidence of there being damage on the drain plug. So, I mean, I, I guess I hit something hard enough. I don't recall bottoming out or anything. Um, so it really sucks because it was something that's totally avoidable. Um, you know, if I had been more proactive and I had zip tied the line a little bit farther out of the way, um, we'd probably still have a perfectly working pro charger right now and I could make some more content. Um, you know, again, this is a learning lesson for me. Um, I guess I'll just have to take it that way. It sucks to take it that way because it's going to cost me several thousand dollars. So we'll end the video right there. Um, I don't know how soon I'm going to have more Mustang content out just because of everything going on. Um, I probably will still have more content out pretty soon because I still have to get the rest of the blower off the car. Um, so you guys can look forward to some of that. Um, but I, I will potentially be doing more reviews of cars as well too. I noticed they don't tend to do as well as my Mustang videos, which I get. You guys are here for the, uh, the Mustang and stuff. Um, you know, that's more just for new audiences to grow my channel as well. Um, same with the shorter videos. Um, YouTube has a new shorts feature, uh, which helps expand the reach of my channel to other potential viewers too. So that's why you're gonna see some more short videos on there as well. Uh, make sure to leave a like on those too. But anyways, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for having patience with me. I wish I could create, you know, more racing content or, you know, just driving content of the car um, because I truly do love the car. Um, but I, I don't know if I've got a lemon. I don't know if it's just bad luck, um, but a lot of things break on it. So hopefully my luck turns around a little bit for me in the future. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.